And as the last of the snow falls, the dig out is well underway in New York City. But with many businesses closed, some permanently due to the pandemic, many sidewalks aren't getting cleared as quickly as we're used to. CBS News John Diaz joins us now live from Restaurant Row in Hell's Kitchen with more. John. Yeah, good afternoon, Mary. And now, you know, strict city rules require that property owners and property managers, they only have four hours to clear away the snow in front of their property if that snow stops to fall after 7 o'clock in the morning, once it completely stops to fall. Now, many New Yorkers we've been speaking with saying that because of the pandemic, though, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Normally, the West Side Highway is packed during rush hour, but this morning, it was nearly empty. The snow and lack of commuters due to the pandemic making it easier for city plows to do their jobs successfully. We have basically plowed every street in the city. This UPS driver thankful for that. I'm, I'm, I just kind of tried to drive in safely. New York City experienced the most snow since January 2016. While we saw some building supers clearing the sidewalk. Keep the sidewalk. Clears. Many business owners aren't. Probably a lot of them aren't around because so many folded. Stores and restaurants across the city have been shutting down permanently due to the pandemic, leaving no one to clean up the snow in front. Well, look at right here, for instance. I mean, it's like it's all icy. No, that's not going to be shoveled. Why? Because there's no business there. So who's going to do that? I still have to walk my dog. So I'm very fearful of falling. According to city rules, if snow stops falling between 7 a.m. and just before 5 p.m., you must clear sidewalks within four hours, or owners and property managers could face a fine of up to $350. But the mayor saying today he won't come after businesses who rent. The property owner has to keep sidewalks clear, not the, the person who runs the restaurant. We're very cognizant of the, of the climate with regard to businesses that are struggling. However, we need the sidewalks and rights of way for the pedestrians clear. But this worker at Lily's Craft and Kitchen in Hell's Kitchen isn't waiting around for help, knowing outdoor dining is its livelihood. I got to clean all up. A good thought, since outdoor street dining is allowed in Manhattan tonight. The outdoor dining structures did well structurally for the most part from our frontline reviews from what we saw and our operators did well navigating around them. This woman lives nearby on Restaurant Row. She volunteered to shovel the eatery next to her building, not even knowing if they'll open. We're in a hard place right now and I think if we can hold off a little bit longer we can maybe all make it through. And we are still waiting to hear if outdoor dining will be allowed in the other four boroughs. Meanwhile, the Department of Sanitation Commissioner, the acting commissioner, is warning to shovel at least a four foot path in front of buildings and telling us, you know, everyone should be doing it sooner rather than later. The temperatures will drop tonight significantly. It will get cold, things will freeze over, and his crew will be busy out on the streets salting all the roads. We're live this afternoon here from Restaurant Row. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.